trying to go natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Another wash day, another product review. Usually natural hair products. These products are really good, so I'm really excited. So yeah, let's get to it. So I'm going to be starting off with the Ujuri co-wash. So disclaimer, my hair is dirty as we know by now. So I might, I'm probably going to shampoo after this co-wash. But I figure if I use it, I'll get to see what it's like on dirty hair. You'll get to see what it's like on dirty hair. And then if I shampoo, we can test the deep conditioner properly. So it's like a win-win. Starting off with the Be Clean Hydrating Co-wash from Ujuri. So it's pretty much a conditionery type texture, just conditioner type texture. So I'm kind of expecting a gentle cleanse, I'm not really expecting any foam, but we shall see. So my hair feels amazing, I'll give it that. Definitely soft and moisturized. But in terms of cleansing, scalp communication before I used this was a 10. Scalp communication after, 10.0. <laughs> Doesn't feel like a cleanse at all. My scalp is still talking to me, but my hair feels super moisturized. So I would use this just as a regular conditioner, basically. So if you could wash with conditioners, yes. If you like cleansing co-washes like me, no, or just use it as a conditioner. I mean, it does feel great, great slip, great moisture, great scent, but as a cleanser, no, not for after a week of burpees in the gym. Wish it was more cleansing, but let me get my shampoo now. <laughs> I would say a little goes a long way, it spreads nicely, no foaming and more moisturizing, more like a regular conditioner. But I do like it and I'll definitely finish it off as uh, conditioner, you know, one of those midweek things where you just want to get some moisture midweek but your hair is not really dirty. I'll be using it then. <laughs> so the verdict after rinsing is pretty much the same. My hair feels soft, looks nice and moisturized, feels nice and moisturized, but my scalp is like still talking to me. Still dirty, still in need. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna shampoo and get right back to you guys, but I do like it for my hair. My scalp needs another option, a stronger option. See you in a bit. Okay, so I'm back after shampooing. Ready to proceed? <laughs> Ready to proceed to the deep conditioner. So it actually mentions the deep treat. So the co-wash mentioned dry and coarse hair. So my hair is definitely pretty dry or was. And my, my texture, my strands are coarse. I'm never sure what they mean by coarse, but that definitely applies to me um, in terms of strand size. But I think it's a good co-wash for all hair types. This um, deep treatment mentioned dry and damaged. Okay, don't mind if I do. Doesn't really have protein. It has hydrolyzed silk, but you know, silk protein isn't a strengthening protein. So I would say it doesn't have protein. I'm a bit nervous about the butter, triple butter thing, because I use a single butter, no butter. That's fine with me too. <laughs> but let's try it and let's see what it does for me. Butters can make things like less penetratable in my low porosity hair, but mm, looks nice and whipped and light. So hopefully that's a good thing in terms of um, penetration. Let's apply in C. Oh, okay. It's actually a lot thicker than it looks. It's pretty thick, <laughs> as you can see. So yeah, let's try it out. <laughs> I will say my hair ailed up so far. It does feel smooth and creamy going on. Definitely feels like it's gonna do something. Don't forget your edges. <laughs> I used about half, which is fair for this size. This slip, I'm gonna have to say just okay. So my hands go through fine when I don't have a tangle, but if I meet a tangle, like my hair is just like, eh, like my strands are like, eh, kind of rubbing against each other. 
So I'm gonna have to give it like a just okay, which means that if your hair doesn't tangle a lot or if it's not tangled, you can definitely work it through easily and even nicely. But if your hair is tangled, then hmm, you might wanna at least maybe add something for slip or try a different deep conditioner. In terms of penetration, my hair feels soft, but it doesn't feel like it penetrated my hair yet. Let it sit for 20, 30 minutes, I guess, because I'm thinking I'm gonna eat. <laughs> but let it sit for a while and then get back to you. So I'm back after letting it sit. I haven't stuck my fingers in yet. I'm about to do it. You'll see what I see, I guess. Let's see how the deep conditioner worked. So it still feels soft and buttery on the outside, but I can tell my hair is moisturized. So it was one of those, not immediate, but after sitting feels good for me, which is fair, because um, like half of them are like that. So yeah. So the deep conditioner gets a thumbs up from me. Let's go on to the styling process. Okay, so the deep conditioner is rinsed from this section and I'm going to apply the leave-in. So the leave-in is really a light consistency and that surprised me a bit just because of how thick the co-wash and the deep conditioner was. But it still goes on moisturizing and everything and it actually has great slip. So I like it. <laughs> This is the amount of slip I would like to see in the deep conditioner, actually. Even though the leave-in is light as you saw, I really like the moisture. And I like the slip too. It has more of a perfumey scent, I think, than the cold wash and the deep conditioner. So those kind of went light fruity. Like, they're all sweet, but those went light fruity. And this one is kind of going more perfumey. But I do like the leave-in, I do feel like I have good definition and I do feel like the moisture and the slip are there. My hair feels actually juicy, which is nice. Now to apply the Marula Oil and Gel Pudding. So I think that that really describes this really well because it actually feels like a pudding, which is kind of weird. Like I've never felt this consistency before. But you can even see I saw some stuff jiggling there, but anyway, let me show you. So you can kind of actually see it kind of, I don't know if you can see it jiggling, but it's very puddingy. <laughs> um, it's very creamy, not drippy, but not slimy. And it doesn't feel synthetic, like it's a little more elastic than the Carbomo type gels. It's just interesting. <laughs> I do think it feels like a thick custard or something, like not a hair custard, but like an edible custard. So I guess that's my consistency. But it is interesting and we will see what it does for me in terms of um, definition and holding stuff. So I'm nervous just because I've never experienced this texture before so I really have no idea what it's gonna do for me, but we'll see. Definitely does give me some of that water sucking so I'm gonna re-wet a bit and then um, work it through. So I will say the slip with this is nice on soaking wet hair but not so nice, at least for my hair texture, if my hair isn't soaking wet. So if your hair is like mine, I recommend you do your wash and go on soaking wet hair when using this product. Just the slip is a lot better that way. So you see it's just slipping through once I have enough water in my hair. So this is it, I'm a little nervous. My hair feels juicy but not super clumped or separated. It just kind of weird, I've never experienced this before. So we'll see what happens when it dries and we'll see what happens after I shake it. But this is it for now and I'm going to do the other side. <laughs> you'll see. Yes, this is a braid out. Um, it came out good, the wash and go came out good, I promise. My hair was defined and elongated and everything and super soft. I uh, just didn't have time to film right away. So here we are a week later with this unrelated braid out and I still want to review the products and still tell you that I enjoyed the result, promise. And then you guys trust me, I ain't lied to y'all ever. 
It was good. The only thing I would say about it is like it didn't have much hold, but in terms of the elongation and definition, I think it was really good, especially for like a kind of cream pudding. So yeah, trust and believe. Nice. Okay. okay. So it's not really like meant to be a braid out. I just kind of braid as a protective style. If I know like screw it all and I have to get through the week, I just do some braids and leave it in. Anyway, so it's not really a braid out, braid out, but it's a braid out. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And it has nothing to do with this either. Sort of, I guess. Because I think I had this in my hair at first and then I used some additional products to do the braid out. But anyway, it ain't that the good actually. Anyway. Okay. So getting to the point. Oh, so I got the Hydrating Co-Wash, the Triple Butter Moisture Mask, the Pear Butter 3-in-1 Leave-In, and the Oil and Gel Creamy Pudding. So my review overall is a definite yes, I definitely enjoyed using these products. If you like co-washes that are not cleansing and soup all moisturizing, then go for this. I like a balance of moisturizing and cleansing. So I would use this, but just as a regular conditioner. Of course, I love the ingredients in this line. It has all the usual good stuff. It has some fruit extracts, some yucca, which is supposed to be cleansing. I guess just not enough of it for me. The co-wash is a nice, sweet, kind of fruity scent, which I like, and which kind of most of the products, naturally products have, I guess, at least the ones I use. So I enjoy the scents of all of these. I think they all pretty much have that similar scent. Then I use the Triple Butter Moisture Mask. This is something I would definitely repurchase on a good sale. So it's a bit thick for me. In other words, it didn't penetrate instantly, it penetrated after sitting. If you watch my videos, you know that's true for about half of the deep conditioners I use. So it definitely ain't a crime. As long as it gets moisturized by the time it's done sitting 20 minutes, I'm good. And this fell into that category. I think ideally for me, just because anybody got time for that, I like things that penetrate instantly. I just don't like the mystery and the suspense, it's just like it to work as soon as I put it on. But for most people, this would probably penetrate instantly, especially if you like a little bit of a more buttery type product. It's still kind of velvety and stuff like that. I kind of put too much to do a rubbing. But it's still velvety and stuff like that, you know. I can feel it on my hand, it's definitely buttery. And it's definitely thick, but it's not like Shea Moisture thick. It's still kind of moving. You can put your fingers through it kind of thick, so I, I liked it. It has the triple butters in there and it also has some uh, moisturizing ingredients like glycerin and so on. So I'm realizing that, you know, if it has butters and stuff, at least for me, if it's a good product, it's still going to penetrate. But it may not be as instant as the ones that don't, which is not a bad thing. I think my hair is more low porosity than most. So then we got into the leave-in. The leave-in was the first one in the line that was kind of runny. Like, I showed you the co-wash and the deep conditioner and both were pretty thick. When we got to the leave-in, I was like, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's runny. And I think I did end up using most of it. But even though it was runny, it felt rich and moisturizing going on and it definitely kept my hair moisturized. Like my hair was moisturized. I think this wash and go lasted about five days. And my hair was moisturized the whole time. And it's kind of pretty much 30s and 40s and stuff outside. So the leave-in definitely did me right. It does have glycerin, but the glycerin is about halfway down. So, and so far I haven't been having any low humidity issues. Like I know when it's like really time to put up the glycerin when my skin starts feeling dry and I need a humidifier at night and stuff, that's when I really put up the glycerin. But until then, especially if the glycerin is low down, I still use it. It says lightweight, definitely lightweight, but definitely moisturizing. And again, that light fruity scent. I did enjoy it. And even though I guess I used a lot, maybe I didn't have to, I don't know. But it was moisturizing and rich going on. It didn't go on like watery at all. And last but not least, we get to this oil and gel creamy pudding. My hair is getting used to these puddings and stuff, like the wash and goes. Like this is a texture and it's definitely creamy. But it has a little bit of something something there as well in terms of clumping. I was actually surprised by the amount of definition and the elongation that I got. The first day looked like, oh okay, I see you, you know. So this is something I would definitely consider repurchasing. I'm not sure because like I said, the customs do me more so do i need something in between a cream and a gel i don't know i don't really use creams that often i just kind of use a leave-in and gel but this one i feel like it could almost have a place i'm gonna do another wash and go with this one and just show you guys maybe on instagram i wish i could show you but trust me like this gives you almost a day what you see from using a gel or custard maybe just a little bit fluffier but it just didn't have much hold at all so if you want a spectacular day one or if you just want to slick down your buns and stuff like that 
definitely recommend this. My hair stayed moisturized, like I said, the whole time, so everything here was doing it for moisture. Because if one, if there was a weak link, I would be able to tell in my hair. Everything here was moisturizing. And I was happy with my day two and three and stuff like that. I just didn't have time to film. And by the time I had time to film, I was like, it really wouldn't be fair to come on with like a day six of something without hold and like try to explain. So I decided to just, you know, yeah, come back later. And that's what I'm doing. I see the cellulose at the bottom, um, which is also somewhat manufactured in a sense, um, derived, like, you know, played with a bit. Um, but it does work better for me, like feels more natural for me than the car bomber. So, yeah. So I was happy with this. A lot of moisturizing ingredients. Enough hole that my hair didn't go completely like fluff. So, yeah. <laughs> Creamy, but kind of custody. Got kind of creamy jelly, kind of in between all of that. This is like a definite perfect in between of a cream, a gel, and a custard, I would say. Like, this is like the most in between that I've tried so far. I think this is my first oil and gel pudding as well, but it's the most in between that I've tried so far. Most have either veered more to cream, which I think is most, and a few probably veered more to gel, which I don't remember any of. But yeah, this one gets you closer to gel than all of the creams I've tried so far. So that's it, I really want to get this out to you because this is a really good brand and I feel like I really want you guys to know about it. Thanks so much for watching, I'll try to bring you more soon <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!